Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this first session of our convention. We had an event yesterday that was not part of the convention, but it is. it was integrated with the convention. This was every year when we have the South Asian Diaspora Convention, we give an award to an outstanding South Asian. We have done it the last three times, and we did it yesterday as well. Uh, Mr. Uh, sorry, Sir Faisal Abad from Bangladesh received that award. We did something a little different yesterday. We also gave an award to a Singaporean. This is all published in the paper, so you might think, why am I repeating? But it was a significant event. Uh, we gave an award to J.Y. Pillay for its Lifetime Achievement Award. And that was the two things that we did yesterday. Today we start with the regular program. And uh, the theme, as uh, Sitara had just mentioned, is Vibrant South Asia, Innovative Diaspora. Uh, that's the theme, and that's what we are going to do. And I'm very glad to see a fairly good crowd of people here uh, attending the... This year was a little bit of a challenge because there were so many events taking place. Uh, the last one being FinTech, which is very popular and with uh, promoters who are very resource-rich. We are a university think tank and we have to cut the cloth, uh, cut the coat according to the cloth. So um, we had certain constraints, but generally people rose up for the event and supported us very well. This, as I said, is the fourth uh, SADC organized by ISS, following the first edition in 2011, the second in 2013, and then 2016 we had. Uh, the fourth edition of the series not only attests for the accomplishments of the South Asian Diaspora Convention, but also its widespread popularity. The convention is held in Singapore as it provides an uh, ideal stage, well positioned uh, for the South Asian diaspora to build relationships and engage with the rest of Asia uh, and other parts of the world. Singapore enjoys warm bilateral relations with the countries in the region and the diaspora finds it useful to have Singapore as a base. The long-standing economic and political links between South Asia and the rest of the world are in part a result of the result, results of the South Asian diaspora's achievements. Today, the goal uh, South Asian uh, diaspora, sorry, the global South, South Asian diaspora is about 41 million strong. It's a very strong, large body, probably one of the largest in the world. Besides advocating for the region's interests, the diaspora also contributed significantly in social development, education, technological assistance, and poverty elevation in the region. To further develop the relationship, the SADC serves as a significant platform for South Asian diaspora uh, to come together uh, with leading policymakers, business leaders, academics and civil society leaders. Today is a full day, the first full day of the, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, convention, and the feature close to, cl features close to distinct 50, uh, sorry, 30 distinguished local and international speakers. Together they will delve into great, de in, uh, hopefully, delve in great depth to several issues that are very important to the diaspora. We are honored to have Senior Minister uh, Mr. Tio Chi Hien uh, here to, to anchor the, the first uh, program. And I'm 
also very happy to have my my teacher. And we don't look it, uh, Professor Wang Um He looks much younger than me, but uh, he uh, was my teacher. Then we have other programs. We have Lawrence Wong, Singapore's Minister for National Development and Second Minister for Finance, who will deliver a keynote address and participate in the interactive session, Infrastructure and Smart Cities, that is going to be in the afternoon. We also have Ms. Indrani Raja, who is the Second Minister of Finance and Minister and Prime Minister's Department, uh, joining us for a session on women's empowerment. We have never discussed the women's issue uh, in any of our South Asian diaspora conventions. This is the first time, and there's a reason for it, because we, we discern a growing interest among women to participate in, in programs that we are having. If you look at what's happening in the Middle East, for instance, in, is, take Saudi Arabia, for instance, there is far greater awareness of women's rights than ever before. So we thought this is a good time, and we've got some very good speakers from different countries of the region to speak on this. Uh, and we this year also have a segment on youth, and also youth and some of their technological achievements, uh, innovations, and so on. The info, uh, the the, the program that we have will not be complete without a fintech involvement. And so we have one of comprising distinguished panelists, Mr. Ajay Thiagi, the chairman of Securities Exchange Board of India. Uh, we have Mr. Mohandi from MAS Singapore. And uh, we have uh, a couple of other speakers who are equally good. And then we have, at the end of the day, we have a session chaired by Professor Kishore Mabubani and, and include Mr. Shaidul Haq, Bangladesh Foreign Secretary, and from our side, our director, Dr. Raja Mohan, Professor Raja Mohan. So I hope this is a full day's program and it is a very tightly packed program. But we are not, uh, you know, frightened by its size and so on, uh, because we keep on adding new things. And this, the new thing this year, is that the last day, Sunday, we are going to have a cricket game. Several cricket games, in fact. We'll have three or four, I think. And uh, we will select the, the winner, and uh, we will give a prize, and it will be a much-looked up, look forward to uh, item on our agenda. Now, one of the things that uh, we will do at the end of the game, uh, South Asia cannot be South Asia unless there's a discussion, there's an argument, and uh, so on. So we will have two of the well-known players together with a good uh, sports presenter to do an uh, interactive session on cricket uh, at the end of the thing. And uh, that will add greater life to the thing. And uh, with a bit of luck, we hope that we can continue to do this at every one of our SADCs, because uh, Singapore, again, is a, is a very good site to have this sort of thing. We were hoping that the National Stadium would allow us to use their place because the numbers we can get will be enormous. But unfortunately, the cost items did not work out in our favor. And we, not being that rich, we decided to go to a modest uh, um, field, and that was Indian Association. And that's where we will have. But the dinner and the discussion uh, will be at Pan Pacific. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope uh, you will have a, a pleasant day and uh, something you can, your, the takeaway will be worth the effort that you put into be here. Thank you very much. <laughs>